In the summer of 82, between my junior and senior year in college, um, I was the unwitting accomplice to what I was sure was a murder. And here's how it happened. I had my brand new EMT license in my hand, and I found myself a summer job at this ambulance, the AAA ambulance company in Rockland County, New York, just above New York City. And I was so excited to have a professional ambulance gig, not realizing that professional ambulances, about 80% of what they do is transport calls, taking people back and forth from nursing homes to hospitals and back again. But it was a paying gig, and it was owned by Noel and Bridget, this old couple in a smoke-filled office with dark wood paneling, and out in front we had three old Cadillac ambulances. And they were beautiful, but they were old. And they had the bench seat in front and the big kind of cherry lights on the top, and that was our rigs. And so it's my first week, and they partner me with this 250-pound Italian guy, Steve Collati. And he's been around the block, and he knows that ambulance inside and out. And we get in for our first call, and he's got a piece of paper in his hand, and he says, we're going to go pick up Sophie. All right, you drive. So I get behind the wheel in the bench seat of the caddy. We drive to the hospital, and we're going to pick up Sophie and bring her back to her nursing home. So we go upstairs, we get Sophie, we put her in the wheelchair, we wheel her down to the ambulance, and I go around back and I start opening the doors, and Steve goes, nah. -uh. She rides in the back on the way to the hospital, but when Sophie comes home, she rides with us. And so I get behind the driver's wheel, and he gets Sophie in between the two of us on the bench seat, and he goes, okay, drive. So I'm heading back to the nursing home when Steve says, stop, pull in over here. All right, and he's the senior partner. So we pull into this little shopping area and he goes over there in the corner, pull up over there. And I pull up and in front of a pizza shop and he turns to Sophie who is blind, a frail woman with a little beak of a nose and a, a look on her face like all they gave her for that week when she was in the hospital was lemons and prunes. And he says, Sophie, you want pizza? And there's a little hint of a smile on her face. And I'm like, pizza, what are we doing? So he gets out the wheelchair, we wheel her in, we sit her down, he puts a little napkin on her, he buys her a slice of pizza and he buys pizza for the two of us. And Sophie, lifts up the pizza and she's shaking her hand and he says, here, Sophie, I got it. And he brings it to her mouth and she chews and there's a little bit of oil dripping down both sides and she closes her eyes and she's like, mm. oh, this is delicious. Well, she finishes the slice, we go back in the rig, we start driving again. And she turns around to Steve and she says, what's he like? Because she can't see me. And he goes, oh, Sophie, you'd love him. He's so handsome, he's like an Adonis, Sophie. <laughs> and I'm driving and I'm like, what the hell? And she goes, I'll decide for myself. And I feel this bony little hand on my thigh. We're driving a little bit further and she goes, it's good meat, it's good meat. <laughs> we get down the road a ways and Steve says, pull over, over there. We pull into another shopping center and he goes, over there, to the right. We pull up in front of a donut shop and he goes, Sophie? And she goes, donuts? <laughs> yeah, Sophie, you want a donut? Yeah. And he comes back with a Boston cream a Boston cream in the ambulance. <laughs> and he starts feeding it to her and he goes, drive. And there is cream dripping down and dripping in her lap and she's 
wiping it with her hands and then putting her hand back on my thigh. <laughs> so we go a little bit further and we stop for ice cream and she's got this ice cream just dripping down all over her and we bring her back in the nursing home and there above her bed is a sign and it says, no pizza, no ice cream, no donuts, no salt, no sugar. And I'm like, oh my God, we're going to be in so much trouble. And we get back out to the rig and Steve turns around and he looks at me and I said, we are in so much trouble. And he goes, she's 99 fucking years old. Sophie eats whatever she wants. That night, we get a call from the nursing home. Sophie's in distress. We go there, we bring her back to the hospital. We drop her off, she looks horrible. She didn't make it through the night. But the emergency room doctor came out to us and said, you know what? That is the happiest I've ever seen that woman. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>